any sport? Working hard or hardly working? Sport? You cosplaying as a boomer dad today? Hey, you said it first. I doubt it. The old sport is more my style anyway. It's finals week, isn't it? Everyone that's come in here lately has that same frazzled look. A drink to ease your troubles. Shot, please. Are we wanting a gasoline on fire flavor experience? Or a sickly sweet, rated grandma's liquor cabinet kind of taste? You know me, if it's not cloyingly sweet, I can't drink it. Have you ever tried Amaro? It's this sweet liqueur, it tastes like a whole herb garden went on a week-long bender. Great, now I'm depressed and scared. How are we feeling now? Like... Like I keep thinking I've hit rock bottom. But then I realize I'm still falling. <sighs> you are such a disaster. Oh God, I certainly have a type. You need more than a drink. Let's hang. Don't you have a bar to attend? We don't need to leave the turtle to have fun. Remember how we said we were gonna hang anyway? I am collecting on that debt now. What are we gonna do? Kidnap the members of Revenge Horse and force them to play here? As if. Revenge Horse only plays house shows. We might not be able to go to a show for real, but... We can always pretend. I guess? Bitch, shut your dumb eyes. We pull up to my buddy Eddie's house. We call it the Rat Hole. Best house shows in Lakeport. Revenge Horse goes on at 11, but at the rat hole, that means midnight. The place is packed. We can smell Granite Joe smoking a blunt out back, and Eddie waves to us from a table full of scary merch. Hold up. Why is the merch scary? We approach the merch table. It's covered in stickers and pins, and they're all of this horse that looks like it was, quite frankly, drawn by a toddler, and yet it's powerful. No matter where you stand, it stares into your soul. Sick as hell. I buy a sticker. You now have one sticker. Hey, do I hear the band doing a sound check downstairs? Ahead of schedule? Let's check it out. <laughs> Careful, the stairs are steep. <laughs> Revenge Horse opens with my favorite song. Fuck, Mary kill. And a mosh pit opens in the smoky dark in front of the stage. Let's thrash. Okay. Let's pretend you said something normal, but basically that. <laughs> we throw ourselves into the crowd. <laughs> no! <laughs> To be fair, I probably immediately get a black eye. Oh, then I fight us away back to the bar and get you an ice pack. 
<sighs> I only need one eye to see the show anyway. <laughs> hey, the singer. Is she a stage diver? I mean, in so much as you can call a thrifted area rug a stage, sure. <laughs> she sets her guitar down and takes a running leap towards the crowd. <laughs> it all happened so fast, nobody has time to catch her. I hope you're prepared for what happens next. Don't tell me that the singer, that she... Stone cold dead on the floor. But don't worry, this is how she would have wanted to go out. Before we leave, we each receive an invitation to her Viking funeral. That was the wildest show I have ever seen. <laughs> or like, talked about. Told you'd be worth it. And you're walking away with Let's see. One terrifying horse sticker, some bruises from moshing, and an invitation to a Viking funeral. <laughs> if that was just a dry run, imagine what the real revenge horse show is gonna be like. It's been a buck wild day, but that made me feel like, I don't know, maybe tomorrow my existence will make things worse for everyone around me. Keep saying that about your day. What happened? Why are you so nice to me? Shit. <laughs> I'm doing it again. The therapist says I latch onto people too quickly. But what am I supposed to do when I gel with someone? Act like a bitch? Bitchy women are a huge turn on, so. Excuse me, ma'am. What are these mixed signals? Are you flirting with me? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm very stressed and just really hot and care about me and have really nice hands. That is the gayest shit I've ever heard in my life. Look, what can I say? I have a thing for emotionally unavailable women. You're not saying that. You're literally in my bar talking about yourself like you're a category five hurricane. Um, sorry, did I do something wrong? No, no. I really, really want to kiss you. Um, it's just that I, like I said, I tend to go for women who don't feel the same way about me. And I need to know I'm not just projecting. So, you kiss me first. I'm a sucker for a good dare. But I'm also very polite. So you go first. Are you trying to 
break me? Max Caulfield, you are the worst. Get off. About an hour. Uh, but before we do anything else, uh, maybe we should sleep on it? In my bed? <laughs> as much as I'd like that, um, I'd like to be able to tell my therapist I made good choices this week. You are a very smart woman. <laughs> to be continued. Okay. Uh, for now, I I have to get back to it. <laughs>